Well, hello, everybody. I'm Father Tom Weisbecker, pastor of St. James here in Omaha. I welcome you to our weekly um, parish update. I'm sure you know by now that the Omaha City Council's passed their mask mandate last week. It stipulates that all individuals must wear, if you're age five and older, a mask when, they, when you are in open indoor space that is open to the public unless six feet of separation from others can be achieved at all times. In practical terms, what that means is that uh, when someone walks into church or leaves church, they should be wearing a mask. Um, but when you're in your pew, it's up to you because uh, you know there's, the pews are more than six feet apart with the, the pew that's marked off in between. And then however the people are on either side of you, six feet with that, and then you're, you're good to, uh, if you'd like to take off your mask, um, it's up to, it'd be up to you. Um, and unless it's your, your family, you can be on top of each other, your spouse, whatever, uh, then you can be closer than six feet. The priests, deacons, and Eucharistic ministers will be wearing masks for distribution of Holy Communion. Let's do our best to keep each other safe in these very difficult times. We started our St. James Parish Annual Renewal, uh, Annual Stewardship Renewal. Um, this, we normally do this in the springtime, but because of the, uh, it's been delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're inviting everyone to enter more deeply into a, our responsibility to respond to God's incredibly generous gifts to each one of us. You know, we use the example of opening up the four doors of stewardship Last weekend, we spoke on the door of worship. That's what you see right here. This weekend, we will be speaking on the door of spiritual growth. And then next weekend, the weekend after that, will be, uh, let's be the door of service. And after that, will be the door of treasure. We're moving toward having our actual commitment weekend on September 19th and 20th. Commitments can be made online also. We will be sending out more information in the weeks ahead. Speaking of stewardship, the Archbishop's annual appeal um, will start in September with mailings arriving the week of September 14th. You now this may cause some confusion as this has, um, you know, overlaps with our, um, uh, our, our annual stewardship appeal. So uh, we'll try to keep things uh, under control in, in, the, in this time. I thank you again for your openness and your generosity. St. James Seton School has reopened as of last Monday. Things have been going fairly smoothly. Obviously, it's a really different year this year. We've had most of our students come back to in-school classes, although there are some doing remote classes. God bless our teachers who are going way above and beyond and making sure everything is safe for their students and getting everyone back to the hard job of learning. Uh, the future is still pretty murky of how this will all turn out. We see how, we'll see how it goes. If something happens and we have to return to remote learning, the teachers have a plan in place and they'll be able to do that well. Hopefully this won't happen. Any questions you may have, please call the school office. Prayers for our safety and success are very welcome. PRE will also be starting uh, this next Wednesday, August 26 at six o'clock in, in the evening. This first session will be for all the students who are coming to either weekly or bi-weekly classes so that they can meet their teachers and get a good in introduction to the coming PRE year. We also need several new catechists for our PRE program. If you or someone you know would be interested, please call Joe Kusick for more information. The Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, RCIA, will be starting on September 3rd. If you or somebody you know would like to investigate joining the Catholic Church, please send me their phone number and their name and, uh, at the rectory and I'll be happy to contact them and we can get ready to begin this great journey in September. More information is in this week's bulletin. This is the time of year when we are looking for new Eucharistic ministers and lectors for Sunday Masses. Since we didn't get our uh, stewardship renewal done last spring, 
we're, we're asking that anyone who's interested in signing up for these ministries to please call the parish office. The sign-up deadline is September 11th. This also brings up the point, too, if you know of anybody who would be a good deacon, uh, feel free. It's, that's a long process, but there is a deadline September 1st, and you need to get in touch with me before then. We still have plenty of room for people to come to, back to the weekend masses. Even if you're not required to go, worshiping God is the, in this most profound way and receiving Holy Communion is worth the time and effort to come. Great graces are yours for doing so. Please come join us. I'd also like to give a shout out to our Boy Scout Troop 380 who had a summer project of a large vegetable garden which they planted out in Bennington. They spent the summer planting, watering, and weeding this garden and now they've begun, begun harvesting the peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, and beans, which they are donated to our St. Vincent de Paul food pantry. You know, that's a lot of vegetables. God bless those, our guys. I thank them for their generosity and may God bless them for their efforts. Just a couple reminders. We are still hearing confessions every Saturday afternoon from 3 to 4.30, and we're also selling hope certificates after all the weekend masses. I'd again like to thank all of you who have been so generous with your Sunday contributions. May you be blessed for helping us in these difficult times. To conclude, let's keep in our prayers, let's keep in our prayers so that this COVID-19 pandemic will end soon uh, and that those who are sick will get better and all of us will be able to keep safe and healthy. May Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph be with us in these difficult times. Let's keep praying and spending some precious time in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And that's how we can win this battle. And thanks again for tuning in today. I wish everyone to have a great week and a great weekend. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.